Weaver would actually be pretty good here. She's a natural Lincoln's carrier against the LC. And Weaver can also build that defuse blade up. Alright, it's the end. Okay, so he's got some more to do. Keeping the play safe. Down bottom, we are going to have an initiation here. Faith Beyond is really trying to charge forward, getting the most out of this gank onto Sakata. Sakata's very, very low. The Illuminate clips him down, and finally he finishes it off with the overwhelming odds. Super now getting very low as well. The Maledict's going to end. It's going to be still very winnable for IGV. As hold that thought. They might be able to score a quick kill on Faith Beyond. Nice overwhelming odds drop down. Man, this Legion is just ready to go in. Not feeling scared of anything. And now Y is going to be able to isolate dogfights. They get him down with the Illuminate. Now Sakata running for his life will get clipped as well. They're splitting resources a little bit thin. In the top lane, looks like maybe we'll get the fight started on the Faith Beyond. Coconut sprayed out, but Legion is able to get that heal off in time. Death Ward channeled up. Faith Beyond going to be walking out of range. Now Shadow moves forward. Dogfight's getting low. They are going to turn things onto Shadow here. Mana pool still pretty high. And finally, the Maledict finishes off our Legion Commander. Vengeful Spirit moving forward. Stepping right into that Ricky Cloud. Blink taking a dagger. It's not going to crit, though. I think that might be where the fight just stalemates out. Yep, not bad at all from IGV. They're showing something. Yeah. This time, last, uh, when Random pushed the top tier one tower against IGV last time, IG already had it. Sure is. Faith Beyond is fearless. Going in onto that, realizing the Invoker just doesn't have any friends nearby, and it seems like IGV are just a little confused on their positioning. They're not quite sure if they're defending or what is which doctor is pulled away from his friends. You can see that Radiant Team Random, they come in and they've got this super clear game plan of this is how we're fighting, this is where we're rotating, this is who we're getting farm on. And again, like you mentioned, that whole push was 4v5. Radiant's Coddle's just doing Coddle things down attack. here, blinding dogfights and being fearless. Is under attack. Yeah, Team Random is playing extremely fast game right now. Oh. Oh. All right, we got our first Blink RP coming forward. Can they find anything off of it? There's a dead Ricky and now a stunned up Sakata. Oh, can't even find the kill on the Ogre. That's got to hurt. Sunstrike coming in. All right, they get something for their trouble. 408 gold from the Ogre there. Bit who now has the Blink and the Blade Mail. So a couple of lucky crits may end up killing the Phantom Assassin on that Blade Mail, depending on how the duels go. So. Swap him back out, separate him from his buddies. There is in July, getting ready to party. Does get one here, but the Steeler trying to bring Blink back. Blink still alive. Again, he goes down. Aegis is ready. You got Dusa just sending out that unfortunate stone gaze. No one's going to be caught in it, but it does put a nice pause button on the fight. You got a great RP into the meatball. Oh, that's huge. This is where the fight turns around. They get four in the blink of an eye. And now IGV are free to move about the map. The only survivor is Solo Man Coddle here. That was the Magnus play we've been waiting for all game. Sunstrike yeah. coming in. Oh man, they're going to be splitting the difference on that. Why able to make it just outside the radius of pain and dogfights going to be right away? Think about our Dusa, it's really just been Venge and Coddle making the plays, but she's sitting back getting some really good farm and just about to pick up her Manta style. So that's going to change the game a little bit. You've got three snakes instead of one in your fights. Difference that's gonna make is Ice 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 has jumped on a couple of lucky crits. May just make the difference here. Gonna be skewering them back. They just need a little bit more damage. Sunstrike gonna be dodged out, but the dagger does it. Just barely enough. Now Sakata's gonna BKB and try to turn this. This is that first BKB charge. It's a little bit ambitious. Got a coconut bouncing around as the rest of the dire are gonna be TPing in. Radiant Zusa. Shadow just kind of screaming it out, but won't find anyone with that stone gaze. I I just sort of racks or anything like that. It confines them to their base, which is very good. They're winning out on the money battle for now. Yep. Still feeling good, but I mean, that acceleration kind of stopped IGV. They really got their train rolling. That one RP combo really set everything back. Team Random just kind of scrambling to get that momentum back, and they're doing a good job, but IGV, yeah. See him, and they kill him immediately before he has any impact. Both teams went up here. Yep, they're going in. Looks like Ice Ice is ready to break it. They're ready to go. Super. Eating up a ton of damage. And Sakata's BKB just ready to 
rail in. They get two, and the Meatball is going to be following up. Meanwhile, there is a duel, but it looks like this time PA won't be killing herself. She's going to get the kill, get the victory, and they're going in on the Shadow, who's screaming it out with that Stone Gaze, but the Mana Pool's gone. That Mana Shield's going to be nothing. Unfortunately, Phantom Assassin does get turned to stone. You've got three heroes still up and fighting. Dogfights finds a kill. Paparazzi going to have his Lincolns broken. you got three heroes huddled up from Team Random, and they will go in and find a kill on the Ricky. Kind of end that fight nicely. you got Faith Beyond blinking forward to look for more, but with Magnus and Paparazzi in the pit, with an Illuminate going to be blasting uphill. Paparazzi throws out the tornado. It does clip on the Vengeful Spirit, but he may pay the ultimate price for that. It looks like he will get dueled to death. Swap back in. They isolate the Witch Doctor down as well. He lands a double man Maledict, but then just gets immediately dropped like it's hot. So Roshan will be claimed by the Dire. Two more picks go the way of Team Random, and it's looking like they're ready to close this game out. Yeah, that's looking like desperation. Like, they have no hopes of fighting. Now another tier 3 broken. He's Illuminate Flash. He's holding IPV at bay. There's the blink in. Wow, Legion is getting crazy here. Definitely making some space as Deuce is going to follow up with that Stone Gaze. They are able to isolate down Zakata, who's going to be leaping back in. Deuce now way out of position. But Shadow's still fighting this. Wow, that is a lot of damage coming out. That new Scotty doing some work. They do get the kill on PA at the steps of her own fountain. Now jump back in, buy back from Zakata. They're trying to get this done, but it looks like this could be a GG. IGV are just huddled up in their fountain. They've got one last hold in them. Zakata coming back in. Will get swapped forward. This is going to be a dieback on Zakata if he goes down. Takes up the Coddle with one fell swoop, but that's a GG as they just don't have any damage left. So Team Random will take game number two, tying our series up 1-1. And we're going to be going to a game number three here in our first series of the EFN for three stages. Yep, well, they had a plan. Beat this back.